Also want to mention that this coming Wednesday, much to my chagrin, AEW going back live. Everybody is rushing to go back live, and, and Florida is making it easy for everybody to go back live. There's going to be a there's going to be AEW live on Wednesday. There is going to be UFC live next Saturday. Not this coming Saturday, but the Saturday afterwards. And there was word out today that the mayor, uh, or maybe it's not the mayor, Ron DeSantis. The governor. The governor. He's talking about uh, potentially very soon allowing fans into the buildings. Now, a couple of days ago we were hearing this was going to be potentially June or July they were going to start allowing fans back. As of today, there's word circulating that this could be literally at any time that he thinks it'll be okay. Obviously, there are going to be some caveats. It's not going to be full buildings. I think he wants uh, 25% capacity max. Everybody would have to be spaced apart. I don't know if this is a good idea. I'm I'm skeptical. I, I feel like we're rushing back too early, but we will see. This is This is the first time this has ever happened, and we will see. But I'm not sure AEW is going to have fans in the building on Wednesday. But they will have some wrestlers on one side, some wrestlers on the other side like they always do. And honestly, I hope that WWE does the same thing because I need some life on these shows. And I think if you social distance some wrestlers in the stands, I don't think it's a, it's a major negative. If they're sitting right next to each other, like if you're going to put the, the Raw announcers like literally in each other's laps practically on Raw on Monday. Yes, I said literally and practically in the same sentence. If you're going to have them that close... What's the problem with having wrestlers 10 feet apart surrounding the ring so we have a little bit of, of life and action watching these shows? How did wrestling become such a focal point of this whole pandemic as far as a harbinger of allowing people back into buildings and essential businesses? Aside from the, aside from the safety, there's also the issue of with, with, with the, when you make an exception in anything— you have another business or another venue or another something that looks at that and goes, well, what about us? Why can't we do this? And I think it creates uh, some other problems for government and for business and for other people. Uh, getting back to Ring of Honor with a lot of this um, talking about through the lens of safety, I think it's a very smart business decision for Ring of Honor. They were just getting things going with new roster members signed, perhaps a new direction under Marty Skrull. But prior to that, you know, they were not drawing very well. And they really haven't gotten a lot of the momentum back yet. It probably is a wise decision. With As we've seen with some of these openings, people are still very tentative right now. There's not a lot of confidence. I would say overwhelming. There's some, and perhaps as time goes on, it will grow. But I think it makes sense. I think it's very smart for Ring of Honor to do that right now instead of opening up and risking putting all that investment in and probably not seeing a lot of fans yet at this point. And they can in the future, but I think right now where they were and where they are, I wouldn't anticipate there's a lot of demand. I will also say as it regards UFC and WWE and AEW and all of these different promotions are going to be running events in empty arenas here. I read today that if you look at the largest outbreaks in the United States, the outbreaks that that resulted in the largest number of people contracting coronavirus, it has been meatpacking plants and retirement homes and prisons. And the reality is it has been a couple of months now, and we have not seen an outbreak in professional wrestling when they're running all of these these empty arena shows there has been as we know that we know of one person in professional wrestling that was involved in a wrestling show has contracted coronavirus and it was an on-screen non-wrestling performer i believe they called this person and that person recovered and i believe is back to work so you know, I, I don't want I, I think it is too early to pack 25 percent of capacity into a building like you're talking a 20,000 seat building. You know, we're going to have 5000 people in that building. I mean, that sounds like a recipe for disaster. But, you know, I'm not I'm not thrilled at the idea that AEW is coming back already since they 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 have shows taped. They don't have to come back this week. They could come back at the end of, of May when things hopefully will have have cooled off even more. That's one thing, but like you've already taped shows, but you're going back live anyway because you can. And WWE has been doing live tapings and everything like that. I'm not a huge fan of it, but to be fair, 
I mean, nothing has happened. And if you are going to be very, very careful and you are going to do your temperature checks and everything else and you're going to try to ensure that people who aren't feeling well aren't going to work, and WWE has done that. I mean, people have showed up in the building and been sent home. So they are doing that. And granted, we know all about asymptomatic folks that can still spread it. But, I mean, everything that they have done, we have not had an outbreak. And if you're going to continue doing that, you're going to continue doing that. But but going beyond that and, and taking the risk of allowing all of these fans into the building, I think it's a little too early for that. But we shall see.